Hi guys, welcome to Tidy Ventures and Makeover Monday. Okay, I'm going to give you a few little tips on this particular project. T just... Tidy tips. Tidy tips. <laughs> Tidy tips, yeah. Um, give you a few little tips to look out for when you're working with builders and obviously they're refurbishing the property for you. Here we are in the kitchen. It's not long been plastered. It's cold, okay, which is fine. But when you start bringing things in like kitchen cabinets, even internal doors, if the place is cold, damp, which it is, okay, what you're going to find is these kitchen units, okay, if you don't put any heating on, they're going to start to suck in the damp because they're only made out of chipboard and they're going to start swelling and you're going to have all sorts of problems then with the kitchen and believe you me, the kitchen company will not take them back if you have those type of problems because they're quite keyed up on looking for those type of signs of, you know, dampness and so on. And the other thing as well, now these, obviously these fitters, <clears throat> they've left this unit here in this state, if you want to call it that, right? Now, anybody can come in, they can knock that, it'll split the boards. To me, you know, they should be taking a little bit more care and attention. And then, okay, they put some cabinets in place here. They've only plonked them in place, but they're wonky, the legs are not on, so they could cause damage. Now, if you see things like this when you're working with builders, take photographs, okay? Because if they do get damaged, it's their fault and not yours because the king, kitchen company are not going to take these back, okay? They've been unwrapped, okay? So they, they cannot go back if they're damaged. So lesson number one is I would always make sure that your builders tick off every item of a kitchen when it's delivered. So if there's any shortages, you can report the shortages straight away. Um, I would try and get them to check that the measurements of everything is correct and the amount of um, you know units all fit before they take the wrapping off as well because we have had an ins um, a situation whereby one of the units because they've plastered out a bit too much the unit won't fit so we've gone to take it back to exchange it and hey presto they won't exchange it because we've unwrapped it a little bit harsh I think with the you know the kitchen company but that's that's what it is another thing <clears throat> that I've noticed if you look at the sockets here Electricians sometimes make a bit of a mess when they're putting the sockets on. So there's gaps here which they fill. It's not that nice a finished job. And there's a gap in between the two sockets, which is a pet hate of mine. So again, you need to make them wary of that. that that's not acceptable. Here's another example. Not so much the plaster's cracked, but look at the gap in between. Okay, now they may say, well, we think, you know, we thought you'd tile it, but that's besides the point. They need to, you know, point those things out. It's not good finishing, okay? Now, I'm not saying that these guys are not aware of that and they're going to put it right, but if you see it, point it out before it's too late. But yeah, if, um, if a property's empty, it's been plastered and you start to install second fix, make sure you get the heating on, otherwise the doors and kitchen units are going to swell. Big, big tip. Um, so take photographs. Communicate with the builder, make sure they're, they're aware of it, uh, and log everything down, okay? So that you've got proof. So if anything does get damaged, it's their fault. Anyway, that's it for today, till next Monday. We're nearing, yeah, we're nearing Christmas now, actually. So, hey. So, if you liked what you've seen here on this uh, Makeover Monday, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Um, you can even subscribe to our email list and we'll send you these videos without you having to search for them free of charge. So yeah, until next time, ciao for now.